Good morning, everyone. Rose Coleman coming to you live from my craft room. It's Monday. <laughs> I'm coming to you live from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. If you're with me, I would love to know who's with me. Please drop me a line, say hi, give me a thumbs up. Today's Monday, and you guys know what I love to do on Monday. I always say I'm not committed to doing it on Monday, but I want, I always check my email and part and look at the global design project. So I always look at it on Monday, but we have a whole week to participate, right? So you don't have to participate on Monday, but um, I love, love, love to participate with the global design project challenge. They do a new challenge every week. Good morning, Carol. Thanks for joining me. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Debbie. Thanks everybody. For, hi, hi Bed. Thanks for coming in and joining me. Okay, so I checked my email this morning. I got the Global Design Project Challenge and this week they have, um, it's a color challenge. So sometimes when you sit down with your projects, do you look at your colors and you're like, I'm not sure what to put together. So it's really cool to grab, um, go on to the Global Design Project and you can go back and check their past challenges and participate in those as well. So today I'm going to participate. I'm going to try my hand at this one. I've got a cute little card I'm going to make with you using some products I just got. And it's not Christmas. <laughs> a little sneak peek. It's not Christmas. We are going to play with, um, what is the name of the stamp set? It's called for All for Baby. So, you know, we always need baby cards, right? Uh, welcome cards, birthday cards, uh, shower cards. And there's a stamp set in the main catalog called All for Birthday. And the All for Birthday bundle is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. There's uh, onesies and teddy bears and bibs. And there's a clothesline with clothespins. And that's what I'm going to play with today because I've been dying to get this set. And I got it last week and it's time to play with it. <laughs> so we're going to play with the challenge. How is everybody doing? How was your weekend? I had a fabulous weekend. Yesterday I had my team meeting with my Ink Sighted Canadians team and we gathered and we stamped, we had door prizes, we talked about all kinds of stuff. It's so um, rejuvenating to me to connect with them uh, when we have our team meeting. So you know I'm gonna mention it, right? It's a hundred bucks to sign up right now. A hundred dollars for the month of November, that's it. You don't have to pay any shipping, no tax. You get to pick $165 worth of product. So I'd love to have you join me and to see you on one of those calls with me. Um, our team is amazing. Okay, so let's flip the camera. I'll put my coffee down and let's get started. Okay, so let me find a spot on my table here that I can put my coffee without spilling it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let me flip you around. Bear with me. Here we go. Okay, so there is my work surface. Let me slide this over so you can see it a little bit better. And we'll tilt you a little bit. Okay, so I've got my catalog opened up here. It's on page 59 of the main catalog. We cannot forget about the annual catalog. This catalog is around until May. So we, we have all these things that we can still play with, right? And there's so many beautiful stamp sets and bundles in here that I really, really need to play with. They're on my wall and I haven't had a chance to even ink them up yet. So we're gonna play with this one. And it's called All for Baby. The bundle is $52. You gotta have this one in your collection. I think it's a, it's a keeper for sure. Now the Global Design Project Challenge for today, <laughs> and my printer cut off the GDP. I can't remember what the number is, but I'll find out, I'll post it. Here's our color challenge. To use Blushing Bride, Misty Moonlight, and Mint Macaron. Ooh, I love those colors. So we're gonna use those today. And we're gonna make a baby card, okay. Let's put this off to the side. Let me bring in the stamps and the dies and show you what they're like. They are so, so nice. So here's the stamp set, all for baby. It's a distinctive stamp set. So you can see how like on the teddy bear, see the different shading that all comes out. The shading on the little sleeves of the onesie. I love it. And then the little sleeper, the bib. And look at this. These are like little back pockets that you can stamp on the sleeper. <laughs> and there's a heart, a star, a rainbow, a bow. And there's a clothing line, clothesline, and the little um, clothespins. 
some beautiful greetings as well. So let's open up. I'll show you what it looks like. So here's our photopolymer stamps. The, here's all the dies. It's a set of 15 dies. So you're going to get all of these. Look at the little um, the, the coat hangers, <laughs> the little clothing hangers. They are so cute. And look, I'll, clo I'll, I'll, put, I'll show you closer. These are the little clothespins. You can cut them out. It's so, so stunning, this set. All right, so our challenge is to use Misty Moonlight, Blushing Bride, and Mint Macaron. Okay, so what I've done is I have here a card base. I'm going to use Mint Macaron as my card base, and I've cut it down the long side at four and a, well, across the short side at four and a quarter by 11, and then I scored it at five and a half. Okay, so it's going to be like a side opening card. I'm I'm more of a fan of side opening cards than top opening cards like tent cards because I find tent cards tend to flop on your mantle. This one will not flop because you can stand it like that and it will stay put. So that's just my little tip on that one. So I've got mint macaron. I went ahead and grabbed from our designer series paper from the catalog. This is the hand penned paper. I love, love, love this paper. And it has mint macaron with some stripes. And I used the uh, dies from, what's the name of that set? Uh, Color and Contour, Scallop Contour dies. And they have a die that is a long scallop. And I just laid it across the bottom here and ran it through to get that beautiful scalloped edge. And let me see if I have that one still on my desk. I think I put it back on the wall. I can grab those dies and show you because they are gorgeous. They're called Scallop Contour. So that's going to go on here. Let me grab the dies. I want to show you in case you're new to my channel. All right. Sorry, guys. Here we go. So the Color and Contour Bundle, this is it here. And the dies are these ones. So you get all of these layering dies, but this one right here with the scallops, that's the one I used to get that scallop on the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We've got that done. We're gonna glue that down. And I love the tone on tone. This is mint macaron on mint macaron. So even though the this paper is very floral, you can still use it to do all kinds of different cards. It doesn't have to be florally cards right it can be even for baby and green is very this mint green or this um, mint macaron is a great baby color okay so we've got that on there now we have a piece of basic white that measures five by three okay so we're gonna do some stamping on this piece here so from our set let's bring in our colors first i have a bunch of ink pads here i have crumb cake and i have soft suede. So we're going to grab that big clothesline image and I've got it on my block here. I'm going to stamp that with soft suede as my clothesline. So I'm just going to ink it up like this and then I'm going to stamp straight across the top from corner to corner just making that nice little arc of my clothesline. There we go. And now I've also got my little clothespins here on my stamp. Now these are, they've put them together like this so that they're equally spaced so that you can use it on your clothesline and you can put those little uh, die cuts on there for the onesies. So I've gone ahead and with the die cuts, I've cut out my three feature colors. So look at these cute little onesies. I love them. So I have my colors. I have Blushing Bride, Mint Macaron, and uh, Misty Moonlight. Aren't they adorable? I love them. Okay, so they're going to go on my clothesline like this. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing them in just to kind of line them up as a guide. I'm going to use Crumb Cake, and I'm going to stamp my little clothespins. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to eyeball... Okay, I've got my onesie there, so I want to put my clothespin here. That one's going to sit there. And in the center, I've got another one, so I'll put one set there. And on this side, I'll put my other set. There we go. So they will line up with those clothespins when I put it together. How easy is that, right? So cool. Beauty of photopolymer. You can see exactly where you're stamping. Okay, so move those ink pads out of the way. Uh, what else do I have? I have, I'm going to do some stamping on these little onesies now. So let's just move this off to the side. 
The stamp set comes with these really nice little tiny stamps. This one here, there's a there's a heart, there's a star, and as I mentioned, these are the little back pockets. If you want to put like back pockets on on your on your um, little onesie here, so I'm going to use the heart. I love the heart. I think it's so cute. And we're going to do some tone on tone stamping. So I've got mint macaron, misty moonlight, and of course our blushing bride. So I've got all three colors, and I'm going to grab my chamois. I'd be lost without my chamois. <laughs> so I'm going to do tone on tone. So here's my misty moonlight. I'm going to stamp that little heart right in the heart spot on the on the die cut. Then I'm going to do a misty moonlight one or not, sorry, mint macaron. <laughs> mint macaron on mint macaron. And then blushing bride on blushing bride. Oh, I just love it. Isn't that cute? love these little onesies and the stitching all around and even around the little bottom part oh it's just so cute they are so adorable okay so there's our little onesies um i'm going to bring in my dimensionals now and put these on some dimensionals and i'm just going to use a single dimensional on each onesie super easy and i'll bring in my piece with the clothesline and we'll put these into place Okay, so I'm going to put my mint macaron over here. I'm going to put the misty moonlight one here, and I'm going to put the blushing bride in the center. How easy was that, right? So cool. I love it. Okay, so I've got my mint macaron ink pad. I've got a sponge. I'm going to do some sponging on the edges and just make this all match. You could sponge it with blushing bride if you wanted to, or your misty moonlight, any of the feature colors would work. I'm just gonna come on in around here. And of course, if you don't have sponges, you can use our sponge daubers. They also are a great way to add color to the edges of your cardstock. So now this is going to go down onto the front of my card. I'm just gonna add some glue here. And we're gonna put that right on top of this scallop layer. Oh, I just love it. I love the scallop contour dies. They are just so beautiful. They add such a nice touch to your cards. There we go. We've got our onesies on the clothesline. We need a greeting on the front of this. So there's lots of greetings in this set. So there's congratulations on your growing family, little hands, little feet, big love. Hello, little one. And how about a thank you? Maybe you're a new mom or maybe you want to give a gift to a new mom of some thank you cards. I know when I was a new mom, I wanted thank you cards, lots and lots of them. So that would have been a really nice thing, right? You can do that. You can make a stack of thank you cards for someone, for a new mom. So we're going to do our greeting on here. So while I'm just going to keep it simple, I have some uh, basic white cardstock that is uh, three quarters of an inch uh, high by two and a half, I believe. Yes, two and a half. And I'm going to bring in my stamp for the front and I'm going to stamp congratulations on your growing family. All right. So I just think, think there's some ink on there. Let's just wipe that off. I'm going to stamp with misty moonlight right on top like that. There. And to tie it all together, I'm going to sponge the edges of this one too. If you're leaving me comments, I'm not seeing them, guys. <laughs> ah, here we go. Okay, I'm seeing some of your comments. I apologize. I did not see them until now. Let's see. Does that mean me too? I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> uh, Delia. Okay, so I will come back and read your comments in a second, you guys. Thank you, Jen Jen. Thank you so much. I love, love, love baby cards and it's nice to have a great such a great baby set in our catalog so let's come on in around here and add our mint macaron to this piece and we're going to add that to the front of the card with a couple of dimensionals like so okay so we peel off the back and we'll put these on the front or put this piece right up here at the top, or you could put it down the bottom. Actually, I didn't really leave myself much room at the top, did I? Let's leave it, let's put it down here, 
right in the center underneath this one. I can still see my scallops, so there we go. I'm gonna put that right there. So there's the front of my card. Now for the inside, I've got another piece of cardstock that measures two and three quarters by four and a quarter. I usually have a stack of these sitting on my desk so that I can do the insides of my cards. I'm gonna stamp this one that says, little hands, little feet, big love. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of my Misty Moonlight ink, stamp that in the center. And I also have the little bib stamp. Oh, so cute, the little bib. I'm gonna stamp this one. The November deal, $100. You get to pick $165, Dahlia, um, of Stampin' Up! product in your starter kit, and you only pay $100. Yes, it's an amazing deal to join the Stampin' Up! family in the month of November. I think that's what you're asking. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to stamp this bib right here like that. Love it. And then you can also, if you want to tie in more color, we can add some of the Blushing Bride and add some hearts. And again, to tie it all together, we can sponge the inside too. So this is going to be the inside of the card. So this card, I think, would be someone's just found out they're having another baby or their first baby, and you want to give them a card that covers, you know, all the colors. And I'm not going to say boy or girl colors because you know the world we are living in. Any child can wear any color. <laughs> we are, you know, anything goes. So we're using green and pink, and we are following the global design challenge for this week, which is, let me bring that back in in case you're just joining me, which is Blushing Bride, Misty Moonlight, and um, Mint Macaron. Okay, so this is going on here. Love, love, love this stamp set so, so much. I adore it. There we go. So there's our cute little baby card for today, for Monday. Let me just lower you down here a little bit. And I'm going to flip you around. <laughs> Whoop. Sorry, guys. A little bit wonky here. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jen Jen. Thank you, everybody, for joining me on Monday morning, kicking it off with a baby card. Why not, right? We all need baby cards. We all need all the different cards, right? We need sympathy. We need birthday. We need baby and it was a nice little break from Christmas to um, play along with the Global Design Project Challenge. So anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys are off to a great week. It was the perfect bundle for this color challenge. Oh, thank you, Jen Jen. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know, I was tempted to use this product suite that I was using all last week, this one, because this has Misty Moonlight Mint Macaron and Blushing Bright in it. And I was like, Okay, I have an online class coming up, so I have all my projects made for that, and I'm going to post that today. And I'm like, okay, no, I have to do something different. I have to use those colors and use a different product suite. So I'm so happy I got to pull out this bundle. <laughs> so I hope you're going to have a great Monday. I hope your week's off to a great start. I hope you will plan to come back and watch me every morning here at 9 o'clock. Or if you can't join me live, watch the replay. The replay is always available. Um, have a great day, everybody. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.